Welcome back guys to more Trauma Team and I'm pissed off. You know why? Because I did a recording of this entire episode. I did the recording and you know what happened? The recording freaking didn't record in the right um in the uh the right file type. So it didn't save correctly. So I couldn't edit it because it didn't show up in uh, my editing software. So you know, you know what? That's that's fantastic. And you know, I had to do all these um, levels again. You, that's fantastic. I got to watch the cutscenes and everything, which is which which, which is fantastic. Well, let's just go to history of fear. take on this kid it's a lie the courtyard is less than 90 seconds away even if he'd run from there he wouldn't be breathing this hard hmm I saw that too where were you really dr. Freebird uh, well enough I know you're all friends but playtime's over let's begin the conference about 10 minutes ago, a Ferris wheel collapsed in Oakdale. We're receiving four patients, one of whom is severely injured. The patient's name is Charlie Malone, a 39-year-old male. He has a steel beam in his abdomen and needs surgery stat. So we have his ID. Has his family been notified? That still needs to be done. Gabe, I'll leave that to you. Now, about the surgery itself. Chief, if I may. Huh? What is it to Moe? Why not ask him to perform the procedure? Me? I've seen the video of his operation. He's better than us. Severe organ damage is anticipated and will need his skill. I did see him in action. I agree. He's amazing. Well then, it's decided. We'll count on you, kiddo. What the? Hey, be careful. Is this the urgent Where patient? Where should we take him? Has anesthesia been alerted? Is everyone ready? Nurses, prep for surgery. Please move. Make way. Blood pressure 60 over 34. GCS is 33. Blood type O+. Plus. Secure a blood transfusion line and get him to room A. Let's move. You! Get out of the way! Please, listen carefully. This will require several steps. I will monitor the transfusion, so watch the patient's vitals. <sighs> Doctor, is something bothering you? I'm not worried, it's just... No time. Contact surgery. We're bringing him in as is. Just... How we handle this crisis will affect the hospital's name. Is it all right to trust this to an outsider like me? You've let your short time here mislead you in understanding us. You aren't regarded as an outsider here anymore, Doctor. You've already saved two lives since you arrived here. All of us believe in our hearts that you'll save this man. Believe. Cardiac arrest, one minute. Hemorrhaging won't stop. God damn it! We're not gonna let him die on us. Let's go. Patient seems to have arrived.
The extraction of the foreign object is a delicate procedure. I, Tomoe Tachibana, will be supporting you in this task. Let's get to it. We'll save this patient, no matter... Let's do our best and begin the operation. The patient's in critical condition. Doctor, the patient's undergoing cardiac arrest. Charge the AED. Beginning resuscitation. Alright, set paddles. Push this forward. Alright, it did this already. And kind of glitched on me. Ugh, there we go. Come on. We have a pulse. Thank goodness. Alright. It's possible that material like wires penetrated the organ. Use the ultrasound to see what condition the organ is in. Alright, just removing stuff. Alright. Beginning I beam extraction. The blood pool is formed at the incision area. Let's pull it with the forceps before the blood pools. We'll have to open the wound and pull it out bit by bit. Blood pool is going to form once we make an incision. This Ventricular fibrillation. Don't touch him. Oh what? It still did that? That's such BS. Come on, back, come on. We have a pulse. Watch the vitals for any variations. Pull on the object for the forceps. Watch the vitals. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm continuing with the treatment. The patient's getting worse. Doctor, what? Oh god, don't give me that. There we go. The object has been completely removed. He'll be okay for now. Yes. Now we have to take the wound from the extraction. We need to do something about that blood. Get the drain. I'll suture it after closing the it's happening. Ready the ultrasound. Alright, now the suture. Prepare the sutures. Suture completed. Let's use membranes as reinforcement. I see hemorrhaging in the operating area. Use the gel. You're so precise. Your operating skills are truly remarkable. We have to fight. The membrane came off because of a blood leak. Let's drain it. We lost sight of the hemorrhage. Use the ultrasound again. Alright, let's treat this one. one area the wound is fully covered. Fix them in place. The membranes have been affected. There we go. We'll be all right. The patient's in danger. Oh god, oh god. Damn it. Damn it. Pull it straight out. Here we go. Please continue with the treatment. It may be bent inside the wound. Please place the object. The wire has been extracted. Moving on to other areas. Nope. This wound is large enough to need the forceps to close. Alright. Ready to suture the wound. Large laceration treatment complete. Please continue. Pull it out. Uh, how's the shape? Okay. <laughs> I already did this crap already. I should know this. Uh. Don't touch him. Okay, there you go. Now suturing the wound is Moving on to other areas. Pull out. Bada bing. Alright. Drain these. Before another blood pool forms. Please see trigger wound before it opens again. There we go. There must be something hiding. Vital still not stable. There must be something hiding. Ah, heal juice. Oh, 
there's still more? Where? Okay. There we go. I was about to say, that's gotta be it. Did I get better than the A this time? I kind of doubt it. I probably still got an A. Oh, maybe. There we go. Got it. S. Got it. You're just as skilled as the rumors say. Oh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Such modesty. I have much to learn myself as well. Operation complete. Thank you for your assistance in the procedure. He's really something. It's like a machine. Seriously, that kind of skill is just incredible. Right? Hmm. Oh, is that your daughter? She's a cutie. That's right. It's good she didn't take after her dad. <laughs> How old is she? She would be 14 now, if she were still alive. When did she pass away? She was killed in a bioterrorism attack eight years ago. Eight years? Don't tell me. Oh, sorry. Uh... <sighs> it's in the past now. That incident at Cumberland College. My wife taught there. She passed away with my girl. Hey, did they ever find who was responsible? Yeah. I caught him. Personally. Don't you recognize him? He's standing right there. Uh, are you joking? He... he did that? A side effect of the gas. It erased his memory. But he was found guilty in a court of law for it. <laughs> that bastard! Huh? Hey, Maria! Well done, Doctor. That was as smooth as last time. It's like nothing can stop you. Uh, Emma, stop swooning over the new doc. Hey! You convict bastard! Hi. Is it you? Dr. Torres! Did what? you do it? What the... What are you talking about? Are you responsible for Cumberland College? Tell me! I've already been put on trial for what happened there. Oh, damn it! What are you doing? So what then? Have you been lying to us all this time? Please, You're calm down, Dr. Torres. Damn it. We swore an oath to do no harm! Dr. Oh, Torres, calm down! Maria! Stop it! You can't remember? Huh? Screw you! Start remembering! Remember what you did, damn you! Ah. Uh. I'd like to return to my room. Could you escort me there? You guys should have seen my first reaction to that. <laughs> God, dude. Why did I have to lose the footage of my first video? Oh, I'm so upset. Ah, oh, anyway. What we're supposed to do is we're gonna go to, uh, Morpho Hero with Maria. Alright, we'll see you there. <sighs> Doctor, how was your day? Oh, uh, yeah, what's up? I worked really hard today. So Darnell said he'd treat me to dinner. You want to come with? I offered to take her, but she keeps inviting people. Uh, so 
Sorry, I'll pass. Good for you, though. Eat up. What? Do you have other plans, Dr. Torres? Uh, come on. Let's not bother anymore. Let's go, Emma. Oh, all right. We'll see you later, then. This is so not likely. Now this is new. Something bothering you? Leave me alone, big guy. <sighs> well, uh, <laughs> this is just me thinking out loud. Seriously, we'd all be better off without all these morons. Why can't people get it through their heads that I'm right? Hmm. Why are you so focused on being right? <laughs> this might sound dumb, but I wanted to be a hero. A hero? Yeah. <laughs> when I was 14, I accidentally started a fire at my orphanage. I was smoking in the bathroom, and it got out of control. Hmm. But while I was running away, I heard a voice crying. I ran back and saved her. I didn't even think twice about it. What's wrong with that? You saved a life. That's good. What's so good about it? I'm the one who started it, remember? Still, the kid I helped kept thanking me over and over. <laughs> That's all she said. Thanks. Stupid, but it made me happy. That's when I made up my mind. I decided that I'd be an awesome hero who would save people. Have you stayed in contact with the child you rescued? Huh? Oh, that reminds me. I heard a letter came for me. I've been so busy that I haven't had time to get it. <laughs> I see. There's an important point you're missing. Huh? There's a limit to what even a hero can do by himself. A hero acting on his own only acts in vain. Hey, hey, Hank! What's the matter? You leaving? Yeah. I'm going back to my room. <sighs> What's with that guy? A hero acting on his own only acts in vain. What the hell with that? <laughs> what? You again? What the hell do you want from me, huh? Beginning? What's beginning? Stupid. I'm sick and tired of all these idiots. Go away! Get out of here!
damn numbskulls run their ship aground? Move it! I'm from Resurgum First Care. I'll take over here. Don't be stupid. We need to cooperate to save these people. I'll be fine. I can handle these patients myself. Go over there. All right, we'll leave them in your hands. <sighs> Screw you. Just get in my way, you boneheads. I can do this myself. Now let's get this done. Damn it, she's gone into cardiac arrest. She must have drowned. It won't be a problem. I'll start chest compression. Alright, chest compressors, what you gotta do is get a beat the crap out of them. Actually, no. Okay, she's back on the side. Good. I can't let my guard down yet. What the hell is this? Was he caught in the explosion? Oh, the wound's too big. I gotta use a tourniquet. Hey, I'm listening. You got something to tell me? There were two more on the explosion. Put them overboard. What? Hey, somebody look in the ocean! There should be two more people out there! What? Got it. We'll get a search team out there immediately. Damn, this accident's a lot worse than I imagined. This isn't gonna be easy. Ah, oh, God. Use a tourniquet, yeah, yeah, yeah. fit it around the... All right, good. Now to bring it around... Good. The hemorrhaging stopped. You have to soak up the blood, then cover the wound with gauze. All right. I never noticed this when I first played this, but, like, I don't... I don't know, Maria, you gotta learn some stuff about ghosts because you just don't say, get out, get out of here to a ghost because those ghosts can, ghost can, you know, screw you up, you know? Damn it, she's gone into cardiac arrest. I gotta perform CPR. <sighs> pounder, pounder, there we go. Dead myself. Whoa, these are some nasty burns. What the hell was on that ship anyway? Hey, I'm gonna have to cut your clothes off. Got it? Let me heal you up a bit. Hey, Cast some Kiraga on you. Just do me a favor and don't move. Oh, this is terrible. These burns, they're second and third degree. I gotta hurry. Come on, dude. Thank you. Searched the ocean and found those people you were talking about. I'll take care of them. Shut up and leave them here. Uh, understood. They're in your hands now. <sighs> I'll do it. I'll do this. We can't do this all ourselves, Maria. Actually, just one person is not too bad. God, again? Oh, thank God. She inhaled some of the burning material. The respiratory tract's completely blocked. Hey, someone get me a drain. Ugh. What the hell am I doing? Of course there's nobody around. Yeah. The tools I've got. What do I have here? I've got a box cutter and some ballpoint pens. Okay, making an incision with the box cutter. Right, I've made the incision. Now to insert the pen and secure an airway. I'm our way. That's All right. Damn it! Are you serious? I don't have time to find a machine. I'll have to use some good old elbow grease. Elbow grease on it. Aim for the center of her chest and hit her hard. Hit her hard. Pound her hard. Come on, baby. Transport this one out. Hurry. There we go. His stomach's. This isn't good. He's got internal injuries too. Hit him with the gauze. Hey, I'm cutting your clothing. Your life's more important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. There's gotta be something here. Oh, God. Don't. Please, no. Please, no. Are you kidding me? This is a lot 
less severe than I expected. I take it if I were you. His condition suddenly take a turn for the worst. Yeah. Come on, inhale. Don't tell me. Damn it, he's suffering from pneumothorax. Got to make an incision. Antibiotic gel. I got to use the gel to get out of a damn scalpel. All right, I've reached the gutter. Push it straight in. Come on, push it in there. Come on, baby. There we go. It'll take some time for it to escape, though. Coming down. Time to remove the pen. Hang on. Just have to be right, but he's not going to be able to breathe like this. I'll have to use some film and tape it down on three sides. The film goes on. Okay, now to secure it on three sides. With okay, one side. Uh, <laughs> one more to go. I don't know how that counted. That'll help this guy pull through. It's over. Did I do it? We've got another one. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. You guys should have seen my reaction when I first saw this. What the hell? Oh, you guys should have seen my reaction when I first saw it. I probably. I think I still have the. Uh, actually, no, never mind. I don't think I got the audio. If I did, I would have totally put, it, put that up for a second because that was too funny. I probably should have saved it just in, just in case if I had, like, a good. Good, um. Audio clips I wanted to show. He was pretty funny. I was like, oh no! It was really All funny. Sweet. Did I do it? we got another one! Oh you! Oh what? Oh no. Oh no! Oh, thank God! I was about to say! This game does seriously... It does not expect me to do something like that. You kidding me? Get him out of here. Hurry. Somebody guide the ambulance. There's any more blood bags. Let me know if anyone needs help. We've got help. another one. Help us get him off the ship. Damn it. This is nothing. You all right? Don't touch me. I'm fine. I can handle myself. Don't push yourself so hard. Hey, someone help get this guy out. Ooh, I ranked up on that one. Alright. Oh, boy. Okay, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, in the next... Hopefully, in the next episode, we'll go back to live commentary. Well, this was still live commentary. It's just that... Oh, we'll go back to blind, I should say. We'll go back to blind... To the blind part. We'll start off with Hank's next mission, which is, I want to believe... No, Broken Heart. I want to believe is later. <clears throat> I have this list of like what um what the mission should go go through, and I want to believe is this next mission is what's next mission is called. But his next mission is yes, Broken Heart. All right, so <sighs> all right, see you guys in the next. <laughs>